Good morning kids. Welcome back. In the last session, we were studying about plants and its parts. And we have studied about roots. Today, we are going to study about shoot. What is shoot? The shoot is the part of the plant that remains above the ground. And the main function of shoot is to produce food for the plant by the process of photosynthesis. Not only this, it also carries out the process of reproduction. And you all know there are different parts of the shoot. They are leaves, bud, flowers, fruits and branches. Each part of the shoot plays a different role. Now we are going to study about all these different parts one by one. First we will study about stem. Stem is the central part of the plant. It holds the plant upright. That is, it holds the plant straight. Some of the plants have hard and woody stem like neem, coconut tree and stem of some plants are weak like money plant. Next, we will study what are the uses of stem. Why the stem is important for plant. Stem supports the plant. It keeps the plant upright. Stem carries food which is prepared by the leaves to different parts of the plant. Like roots, stem of some plants store food in them and we are eating uh, those stem. For example, potato, onion, ginger, etc. Potato, onion, ginger are growing under the ground. So you will say these are root. No, but it is not root. They are the modified stem which we are eating. Okay, clear about stem? Next, we will study about leaves. Plants look green because of leaves. Leaves prepare food for the plant by the process of photosynthesis. Leaves prepare food for the plant. That is why leaves are known as food factory of the plant. Or we can say leaves are the kitchen of the plant. Do you know why leaves are green in color? Leaves are green in color due to the presence of green pigment called chlorophyll. Different plants have different types of leaves. Leaves of different uh, plants are different in shape and different in size. I have brought some leaves for you. See this. Are you all able to see this now? See, I have brought four types of leaves. Look at the shape and size of these leaves. So, you have seen all the leaves are different in shape and size. Next, we will study about structure of leaf. A leaf has three main parts. One is leaf blade. Second is main grain and third one is side grain. Okay, you are able to see this leaf. This portion is leaf blade. This portion is leaf blade. And you are able to see the central line present in this leaf. This is the main grain. And uh, you are able to see this uh, small small lines which are present towards uh, on this uh, side of the leaves. They are the side grains. Okay, the side veins and main veins, they carry water to the leaves. They carry water to the leaves. And you know, uh, below the surface of the leaves, small uh, pores are present. They are known as stomata. And these stomata, they help in the exchange of gases. Okay, now we will study uses of leaves. Leaves are very useful. Leaves make food for the plant. Stomata is also present in the leaves. Then uh, in some plants food is stored in the leaves and we are eating those leaves. Can you name some leaves that we are eating? Tulsi, spinach etc. are the leaves of plant that we are eating. Okay? The leaf part is clear now. Hmm. Next, we will study about flowers. Many plants bear flowers. Flowers 
are the most beautiful part of the plant. A plant is attractive because of flowers. And flowers are very attractive and they attract insects. We get perfume from flowers. Some flowers they change into fruits also. Flowers they help in pollination also. Now you will ask what is pollination? Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from one flower to another flower with the help of insects. Clear? Next we will study about fruits. Uh, I like fruits. Do you like fruits? Yes, everyone like fruits. Fruits are very delicious. Delicious means tasty. They are very necessary for our body also. Do you know seeds are present inside the fruits? And one more thing. Some fruits have only one seed while some fruits have many seeds. Can you name a fruit that has only one seed? Mango. A fruit that has many seeds? Papaya, watermelon, muskmelon, etc. Okay, now we have studied about fruits. Next we will study about seeds. As I told you earlier, seeds are present inside the fruit. Seeds are sown in the soil and it will grow into a baby plant. And you know we are eating seeds also. Seeds are very nutritious. Uh, we are eating seeds of many plants like wheat, rice, etc. You know seeds of muskmelon and watermelon are very nutritious. Hope you all have understood this chapter. Okay, now we will do the reading. Okay, come on kids. Now open your book. Page number 20. We will start the reading. The shoot. The shoot has stem, branches, leaves, buds, flowers, thorns and fruits. The stem. Stem is the main long thin part of a plant above the ground from which the leaves are flowers grow. It holds the plant upright. It bears branches, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits. Stem of certain plants like money plant are soft and green. Whereas stems of neem and coconut trees are hard and woody. Uses of stem. The stem supports the plant. The stem carries wood to different parts of the plant. For some plants, stem is the storehouse of food. Certain stems remain underground and store extra food in them. For example, potato, onion, ginger, etc. The leaves. The plants look green due to the leaves borne by them. They are the food factories of the plant. The food is prepared in leaves with the help of carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. The green color of the leaves is due to the presence of a green pigment called chlorophyll. Structure of a leaf. Plants have leaves of different shapes and sizes. Leaf blade is the flat portion of the leaf. The main vein and side veins are there to carry water to the leaves. Tiny pores present on the leaf surface are called stomata. Uses of leaves. Leaves prepare starch during the process of photosynthesis. Stomata present in the leaves exchange the gases. Food is stored in leaves, for example, cabbage, lettuce, spinach, flowers, fruits and seeds. Many plants bear flowers. They grow from buds. These flowers make plants beautiful. Some plants reproduce with the help of flowers. Uses of flowers. Flowers make the plants attractive to insects. Perfume is obtained from many flowers. Flowers help in pollination. Some fruits are also obtained from leaves. Uses of fruits. Fruits are delicious to eat. Seeds are present inside the fruit. Some fruits have only one seed whereas some other fruits have many seeds. 
some plant stored for him there. In fruits, uses of seeds. Seeds sown in the soil grow into a baby plant. We eat the seeds of some plants. They are very nutritious. The seeds of co coffee are used to make a rich drink. The seeds of muskmelon and watermelon are also very nutritious. Now uh, you will get the question answers from Edis app. And for getting this, please download Edis app. Okay students, I hope you all have understood the chapter. Bye-bye.